In this video, you're going to learn how to put a checkbox on your site that they will have to click before they can continue with any action you want them to do. I'm going to do it on this website, and what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to put a checkbox in here, telling them that they have to check the box to continue. Now, I've supplied the code for you. Here's what the code looks like here. There are two parts to the code. This piece you need to put right at the top of the page source and at this and this piece of code you put where you want the box to show up. So let's go ahead and do that. First we'll move this into our clipboard by highlighting it and then copy. Next we will go to our site source code that we're going to change and then we'll go to the index page which is the home page in this case and we'll do an open with and then we'll use notepad now what we'll do is we'll paste that right at the very top of the page we'll just paste it right in there now what we need to change here is where we want them to go afterwards if it's on a different domain you're going to have to put the URL to the page in here the full URL to the page you want to go to I'm just going to put it right in the same directory as my index page. So I'm going to make this the payment page, which I call the pay.html. And I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so this is where I want to send them once they click the check mark. So if we look over here, you'll see that I have a payment page. And if we were to open this with Firefox, Here's what our payment page looks like. And after they check the checkbox and click submit, we want them to come here and be able to order the product. All right, so now we'll go back to our code. And let's grab this piece down here, copy it into our clipboard. Let's go back to the index page and find where we want to put the code. Now you can do this in any editor that you use, for instance, Composer or whatever you used it to do your web pages with. But we're going to put it here right underneath the price. I already know where that is, so we'll put it right here. And again, if you had a web editor, you could just use that and insert the HTML where you want. But I'm just going to paste it in right here. And then what I'm going to do is I might want to change the text here. So there's some text here that says click inside the box and click submit to continue. And change this to whatever you want. I'm going to leave that as the default. And now I'm going to save. Close this. Now the one last thing we need to do is we need to rename our index file to a PHP type of file. Now you can do this either after you upload it or before you upload it. I'm going to show you how to do it after you upload it because some people have extensions turned off in Windows. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to upload it to a place on my server. Okay, so what I've done is I have created a folder called checkbox on my server. And on this side of my FTP client, I have my files. So what I want to do is I want to upload all these files over here. So I'll just, on the first one, I'll highlight. And then what I'll do is I'll do a select all. And also I can, I can do that by hitting control A. And that selects all the files. And then if I right click, I can click on upload. And then it queues everything up and uploads the files to my server. So we'll let it do that. Now that everything is uploaded, go to index.html, and this needs to be renamed to a PHP file. So just click Rename, and then click the far right arrow so that the whole thing isn't highlighted anymore, and then make it a PHP file, PHP, and that's it. Now everything will work properly. Now I'm going to key in the URL to my domain name here and to where this page is which is in the checkbox folder on my domain. 
Okay, so here's our page that's uploaded to the server. And if we roll down, okay, here's where we have the text that we could have changed here. It says click inside the box and click submit to continue. And we could have changed that on our web page if we wanted to say something else. Now let's say they don't click the checkbox and they just click submit. Let's watch what happens. Nothing, right? Now if we click on there in the checkbox and then click submit, you'll see that it has continued on to our next page. So that's it. That's how you add a clickable checkbox to your page.